So for our first episode, uh, we have the legend, uh, the man, the myth, the legend. We have Mr. Harma Hertuni. Uh, so uh, Harma actually happens to be the broker of the Keller Williams and Sino Sherman Oaks office. Uh, I've known Harma for, what is it now, Harma, 10 years now? 10 years. Yeah. About 10 years. So last year, you mm -hmm. know, the, the, the company that you currently represent brokered, I think it was like 12, 1,300, shy of 1,300 uh, homes? 1,200, yeah. 1,200 right. homes. Um, and so, so here's uh, what I like to do. Um, I, being in the business, how long have you been in the real estate for? 14 years. So in real estate for 14 years. For 14 years. Uh, in leadership for how long? 10. 10 years and selling real estate basically. For 14. Through all 14. Correct. Okay. And so uh, this is who we want to have. Uh, we're excited to kick off our first episode with uh, Mr. Harma Hartuni. Imagine somebody has a property or two, they mm -hmm. unload them, they cash out, then they're sitting on cash, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're gonna have to pay some taxes because one of the homes, you, you, you get 250,000 exception. If you're married, you get two, uh, times two, you know, that would be $500,000. Um, but imagine there's someone says, okay, so I'm gonna keep my personal residence and I'm gonna sell my rent, so I'm gonna cash out because I wanna, you know, maximize it, do a 2X, 3X, 4X in 2020. Pick mm -hmm. them up, you know, what would be cents on the dollar. What do you do with cash? I mean, we are sitting here in 2019, um, and I imagine for, with two, three hundred thousand dollars, what would one do from what? What are you going to do from here through, call it 2019, 2021? Because it, in my opinion, having cash in the bank or even in the market is is having in the bank is is expensive. So Correct. unless you're in the market, then things get a little sticky. But what? Do you recommend or what do you talk, what's, so, what's your thought around great, that? Great question, but I think we have to answer that in two ways. If you have a property that it gives a good return and you purchase in a very good market, mm. so you have a good equity, I don't think you need to worry about where market is going. You don't sell that. You just keep it and you continue. It doesn't matter. You might be in a, uh, keep that for another 30 years and we will go through three more um, cycles. Mm. So I don't think you should sell that. But if you have cash today and you're thinking, maybe I should just buy an investment property, mm -hmm. Those are the people that I'm saying they should wait. Okay, so so okay, so the people that have equity just wait a little bit, and if you have cash in your pocket, just save it. No, mm -hmm. Don't don't get lost in that. Okay, um, so what about? Uh, yeah, I deal with a lot of people who have had a home for sale before. They couldn't sell it. We come in, we revamp the property Correct. per se, and we get it sold. Um, what about? Since you are a broker, mm -hmm. right, um, and you you must get this a lot, and I think that for in its immediacy we're going to get a lot of audience uh, of agents uh, following because you have a very very large following of, of different brokers and agents who follow you who know your great success, which you know at one point you were like a prodigy in yeah, okay. 2009, you know, being the team lead, uh, running a big real estate sales team and so forth. But uh, what would you say to the agents? Because you know, one of the things, one of the reasons why we're doing this show. Um, here at Ask Eric D. Uh, by the way, uh, the name is a straight copy from Gary V. Show, uh, which uh, plug for Gary V. Uh, kudos to him. Uh, you're you're awesome. Uh, but um, very simple. We want to we want to have a platform where folks can call in, ask questions, um, all things real estate. You know, is it a good time to buy, sell? You know, I'm a real I'm a new agent. I'm a seasoned agent. I need to pivot. What's going on from here through moving forward? Um, New agents uh, or newer agents, people that you know last year were barely cutting it or, or, or doing you know a few deals here and there, um, and and now that we're going into a market where it takes more skill, it takes more experience and preparation to actually list and sell a home or represent a buyer and actually close it. Um, I, I have to think just because I know the stats and I know how many agents are out there and what they sell and what they don't sell. As a broker, are you worried? Are you, you gotta be concerned. I think it's in every business, it's not about how much you make, it's about how much you keep. Um, I've been proactive last 12 months, um, making sure we only hire agents that are able to pay the minimum investment they have to make the first year to sell real estate. Mm -hmm. um, if they don't take it serious, they go through the training, we do not hire them. Mm -hmm. So, And you can count on new people because out of 10 new licensees, mm -hmm. When you look at it after five years, only one has survived. Mm. So um, the, okay. the numbers don't lie, right? So I do believe that um, a lot of agents that they have big teams mm. will also focus on smaller team, more productivity because they don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. 
and going back to basics, which is meaning connecting with yeah. people. I, I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah. You know, um, uh, especially in a world or environment. Well, and there's 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 really two two uh, uh, train of thoughts on that. One is you know social media or social interactions with uh, the buying public. Uh, you know, we we have Oliver here. Who how old are y'all? Twenty one. So perfect. You know, super super. I don't even. Is that Young is that a millennial star. or is that a generation? I have no idea. What is I, that? I don't know. Okay. What well, language? I think I mean, it might be generation. I think something. he's texting us right now. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it, it, so, so for the twenty one year olds and for you know the the the, the kids or younger uh, population or following out there, uh, who are super super dialed in and connected with social media. Um, doing all things uh, through lack of communication or more of like that kind of um, approach. Um, the two schools of thought is that mm -hmm. that is the future, and it may be. You know, who knows? You know, I, I, I see things evolving on a daily basis, but I, I think at the end of the day, in, in the core, uh, in what we do as as, as real estate professionals uh, and and salespeople, professional salespeople, um, at, at the core is basics. And, and so, can you? elaborate a little bit about what, in your professional opinion, is the basics for a real estate professional? Um, so I, as you know, I recruit agents and mm -hmm. I call and my phone number... You actually call agents? Yeah. Really? We do. Wow. Mm -hmm. like nice. I will say maybe 40 to 50 agents per week. Really? That's impressive. Okay. I, yeah. I, would, okay. I mean, I work too hard to build a brand for myself and mm -hmm. if I'm not the one calling, who would, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it's actually, I get a great response. Mm -hmm. so, but what I was going to say that when I pick up the phone and call, there's 1,800 agents out there. Mm -hmm. They don't have my phone number program. Mm -hmm. So when I call them, mm -hmm. most of them will answer the phone, hello, mm -hmm. who is this? Mm -hmm. And uh, my, um, <laughs> I'm shocked. It's like we're in sales. Yeah. If anyone who's calling you is your mom and your brother and anyone that you know, <laughs> Yeah. You will never sell real estate. Right. Or you should be excited that your phone is ringing with someone you don't know. Yeah. So um, I think going back to basic is like pick up the phone. Don't say, oh, if for faster response, text me. And you text, you say for faster response, call my office. You call the office, voicemail is full. Mm -hmm. So just pick up the phone, respond to every client within a few minutes, mm -hmm. build rapport. And more importantly, you have to show value. Why should they work with you? Because mm -hmm. there are a lot of options. And mm -hmm. What I don't, uh, going back to what you mentioned about younger generation, I noticed less commitment in mm. anything. Mm. So pride of ownership for younger generation is so low, they rather just be in a nice cool place in a building that has a gym and they can have obligation to go in and leave and they're done. Mm. Um, I remember growing up, it was like younger you are buying a property earlier, mm -hmm. richer you become. Mm -hmm. And the new generation, when you tell them that, either they don't have the down payment or they just got out of school, they have a big debt so they can't, or they just don't want to commit. They're like, mm -hmm. I don't know if my job will last. I mm -hmm. want to change. So I see the entitlement of becoming rich for them. It's so much faster these days that they don't commit to long-term real estate. Yeah, yeah. I, I, on, on that note, I think commitment in general, uh, drop uh, for the younger <laughs> uh, for the younger demographic is is an issue. Um, uh, talking about commitment, you have mm. a couple a few kids now. No, yeah. we're doing public. Yeah, but oh. let's, let's get there. So you know, yeah. Uh, After that, be three yeah. kids. You have two. Uh, you have a set of twins, and yeah, they're all under five. All under five. Yeah. What about the real estate agents that have kids? People who are, you know, in, in that have families, you know, what, 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 what would you give as a recommendation as someone who's thriving in real estate, um, who has a set of twins and uh, I have, I, I, I appreciate Zeus, you saying that. Your, yeah. your I have more businesses and more volume that I had when I had no kids. Um, is I that think, right? Yeah. yeah is, it just, is, that, is that because of just the sheer age or sheer, um, uh, resources or experience? Why is that? I think, um, I think it has helped me mm -hmm. to say no to nonsense meetings. Mm. It has helped me to not waste my time for someone who's not going to buy or sell or mm. join me. Mm. Um, wow. So I start looking at things that it will develop wealth mm -hmm. and it changed my staff's lives. Mm. If it's not, I don't even take the meeting. 
because I'd rather be home. And I'm lying to tell you, if I like to be home all day, be with my kids, I think I will shoot myself. It's, <laughs> it is. Uh, any, if you just any, edit this out later, we, we can edit that. No, don't, no, this is the part you don't <laughs> yeah. edit. No, no um, any mom or dad that stays home and they take care of the kids, I think they're amazing people. That takes a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. I am not able to do that. I tried the first three weeks and with help and I couldn't do it. Mm. And I'd rather be a good father and be home later and give best quality of time versus mm. be all day with them and not give them enough time and mm. give them iPad, for example. Mm. So no judging. I learned not to judge after kids were born. So because mm. um, I used to judge everyone how they did business and how they raised their kids. So I think when you have kids, I think it's just an excuse in your head to avoid doing what you need to do to make business. Otherwise, wow, that's, that's I very think uh, if loaded. <laughs> yeah, that you might not have any followers after yeah. this video. Okay. Uh, no, I, I appreciate that. Um, uh, you know, I, and, and I know we're just spitballing. We're going back and I forth. Um, um, that being said, um, you know, as, as, as we get into a, an environment where um, I think that for, for the most part, where the market is now based on Q4, 18, uh, there's, there's a lot more consumer confidence. Um, you know, we're, we're going to be wrapping up here. Um, what, what would you say to our, uh, our buyers and sellers, people who are just following that just want to have their, 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 their thumb on the pulse of the market? Uh, because that's what we're doing here, just, just all things real estate, keeping it fresh, keeping it light, keeping it um, easy. And so um, for our consumers out there, the buyers and sellers, um, what would you tell them in regards to real estate for 2019? Like, what, what would be one thing that you would say, um, here you go, here's, what I, here's my little uh, nugget for you folks. Um, I'll, I'll say the same thing that I tell my agents, that if, okay. if you're irresponsible to help someone to buy or sell, mm -hmm. put their entire saved money into a uh, property, mm -hmm. you better know the market, you better mm -hmm. know how to market it, you better have the knowledge, mm -hmm. And you have to be trustworthy and not work for the commission. Because right. anyone work for the commission, uh, they never stay in the market too long. Right, right. So same thing with buyers and sellers. Hire someone that is um, educated, they're honest, they might tell you something you don't want to hear, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And um, remember, this is your big investment and you cannot afford hiring an agent just because you went to high school with them. They, they really are not local they'd reduce their commission to help you, but ultimately they won't get you the top dollar. Mm. Uh, hire the professional who understands and who you trust. Mm. Okay. Uh, you know, on, on, on that note, um, you said trustworthy and honest. Yeah, I think that one of the things that, just to piggyback on that, um, uh, be honest early. Um, 100%. Yeah. Early. You know, I, I think that uh, our sellers, mm -hmm. our buyers, uh, will much rather appreciate the transparency uh, even if it kills a deal, even if it's just a situation where you, by being honest and frank and asking a lot of questions, help himself discover that, uh, you know, selling or buying real estate at the moment is not the most conducive thing for them to do. And um, I want to add something. Uh, ye mm -hmm. Yesterday we had a li listing in Hollywood Hills that the seller wanted to list four hundred thousand dollars over what we evaluated. Wait, when you said we had a um, listing, this is your my personal, team, your yeah, team, my own and team. Your per personal listing. Okay. Um, what was the price point, by the way? We suggested 2.1. 2.1. And they want to list 2.5. Nice. And I think we And of course you took the listing at 2.5. No, nope. <laughs> nope. I actually have a great script. I uh -huh. said I'd rather turn you down now than let you down later. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought he will be very unhappy. The mm -hmm. wife called back and said, Okay, well What's the address, by the way? <laughs> Let me just. <laughs> yeah, where, uh, the, uh, what I yeah. should have offered 1.99 so yeah. we can get a multiple, but. Um, <laughs> So, but yes, are, are be we honest. in that market? Uh, do you think? And I just I know that we're kind of going back here, but are, do you, are we in the market where you believe? I didn't say multiple to get much higher. I see. Okay. But to get because it's not about who pays the most; it's about who is qualified to close the transaction. I see. So when I price low, it's just to get the best buyer because I don't want to be in escrow for mm. thirty days. I don't want to be part of the twenty-seven percent that cancel. Okay. So so really quick on. Uh, what you said right now, and what he just said is uh, he was about to uh, recommend to his client to price at 1.99. Client wants to be at 2.5, it's worth about 2.1. He said multiple, not multiple offers to have the property fly off the shelf Correct. with an increase in percentage of sale, uh, but to actually have multiple bids, 
have the best price and terms. And terms, yeah. Okay. Is, is it your opinion that we're in the market where, where we get multiples of properties will sell over asking price? If or? you're the lowest in the market and you've shown the best, mm -hmm. the chances of two buyers are looking at the same property is pretty high. Okay. If you go right in the middle, you will not have that chance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, last thing, we're, we are uh, just about to head to New Orleans. Yeah? Correct. For the to give you an award for being <laughs> in the top five. Uh, appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what the ranking would be, something in the tune of uh, top five. So uh, we're fortunate, we're blessed to have worked with a lot of buyers and sellers that give us uh, the opportunity to work with them. Under 30 years old, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, under 30. I, I really appreciate that. Um, I, that on that, that being said, though, the reason why I bring this up is because um, Gary Keller, the founder, mm -hmm. chairman, and now the CEO again of right. Keller Williams Real Estate, um, it has, it has now taken the, the position of CEO. And um, you know, one of the reasons why I'm especially excited to go um, to New Orleans, where, which is where the family reunion is going to be, is because uh, you know there's a lot of talk about you know AI, um, you know artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, technology, uh, just in general in the world, right? Um, and specifically in real estate, there's a lot of there's a lot of things, uh, rumblings and, and conversations about how this will be a value to the clients and how. Uh, sometimes it'll it'll weed out a lot of agents that might not have um, uh, the knowledge or, or care to, to learn, right? So, um, what is your take on on AI, on technology, on and how that's going to impact real estate? Well, I think the f if I have to describe very fast, it's very uncomfortable. It's a change, right? You're uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Yeah, you're uncomfortable. I am. I yeah. am. I am. You know, you, you don't strike me as someone that gets uncomfortable real easy. <laughs> yeah. Good. Wow. I am. Now we I know am. what makes Harma Hartuni uncomfortable. Yeah. So bring up technology. AI. Technology. Yeah, technology. <laughs> Whenever you see Harma on the streets or calling you, just tell him AI and he's just going to stream. Yeah. I, I, I know I'm not that old, but I like, I like old fashioned call. Yeah, but I here. was, uh, I learned mm -hmm. last week when I was in Austin a mm -hmm. little bit more about what we have coming up. I mm -hmm. don't understand it completely. It's too advanced. It's amazing to see what consumers and um, as well as the agents mm -hmm. can have. But I will be, I will, this is an analogy I can use. You remember when Apple TV came out yeah. and um, everybody goes like, I'm never going to use that. I have yeah. Let them know. And, let them you know, mm -hmm. um, they, uh, they have direct TV and they have cable and mm -hmm. I have all the channels. I pay, HBO is free for me. Mm -hmm. And now I don't know if you notice cable is going away. Yeah. So but yeah. The, nobody talks about it anymore. So mm -hmm. I think we have to be prepared. We have to embrace the change. Um, I'm taking uh, around 31 people from this office wow. uh, to learn, to come back and Hopefully one of them gets it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's about what I'm taking 30. <laughs> it's called 80-20 rule, <laughs> the, right? The, the, the chances are stacking the deck in your favor. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, so, and okay. you're one of them, so you're the one going to be teaching. Do not count on, on that. I, I, yeah. Yeah, that. That's another conversation for yeah. another day. Um, okay, cool. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you thank for you. your uh, time today. Um, and then, guys, again, uh, Ask Eric D. Show. Um, the first episode, we had the honor and privilege of having Mr. Har Martuni. It should just get uh, better after this one. It should get better. This, you know, <laughs> this is, a, if you can see, the, our, our, our little setup here is, is very, very um, simple and basic, but the objective is just to just chalk it up and talk real estate. Um, so, if you have any questions, if you have any, uh, anything you'd like us to discuss, or myself to discuss, as we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be having here, at the Ask Eric D show, uh, different guests. We're gonna have different people and different um, uh, things to talk about as real estate is ever evolving and changing. And so thank you for your time.